This is a public health video regarding vaccines. Hi, my name is Muhammad Al-Fahmi. So today I'll be giving you the uh, vaccine, the second dose, right? Right. Okay, so you prefer left-handed or like, uh, left-handed? Uh, right-handed, sorry. Left. Left-handed. Okay. So please, I'll see. Okay, here it is uh, 0 0.5 mm okay. for your vaccine. A vaccine is a biological substance that gives active acquired immunity against a specific infectious disease. A vaccination usually comprises an agent that looks like a disease-causing germ and is commonly manufactured from weakened or destroyed microbes, their toxins or one of their surface proteins. Vaccination is a simple, safe and efficient technique to protect yourself from deadly diseases before they infect you. Vaccines teach your immune system to make antibodies in the same way that it does when you are exposed to a disease. They do not cause disease or put you in danger of complications because they only include killed or weakened forms of the pathogens. The first vaccine that was developed is the smallpox vaccine by British doctor Edward Jenner in 1796. mRNA vaccines are the new type of vaccines in the market developed due to our current technological advancement. mRNA vaccines have been researched for the past 20 years and were fiercely introduced in COVID-19 vaccines. There have been many types of vaccines that have been developed for years. Those are life attenuated, inactivated, toxoid, subunit or conjugate, viral vector, and mRNA vaccine. Life attenuated vaccine contain active and live viruses but which are weakened. One of the main disadvantages of this vaccine is that it mutates to a virulent form on rare occasions and causes disease. Inactivated vaccines are the ones that have germs that have been killed or inactive with chemicals, heat or radiation. Toxoid vaccines are made from inactivated toxic compounds rather than introducing an inactivated or attenuated microorganism to an immune system which would constitute a whole agent vaccine, a subunit or conjugate vaccine uses a fragment of it to create an immune response. Viral vector vaccines use DNA or RNA to instruct cells to make germ antigen. The genetic material is wrapped in different safe virus. The difference with mRNA vaccine is that mRNA vaccine doesn't have any physical parts or subunits of the virus. Still, it has a strand of RNA that encodes particular parts of the virus. The biggest challenge was that mRNA would be taken up by the body and quickly degraded before it could deliver its message and be read into proteins in the cells. The solution to this problem came from advance in nanotechnology. The development of lipid nanoparticles wrap the mRNA like a bubble and allows it to enter the cells. Once inside the cell, the mRNA message could be translated into protein like the spikes protein of SARS-CoV-2 and the immune system would be primed to recognize the foreign protein. Hence, this causes the body's immune response to be faster than traditional vaccines and easier to be produced. mRNA vaccines consist of three main components which are the mRNA itself which contains the genetic code and act as a template for coding, a plasmid which is a vector to transfer the genetic code, lipid nanoparticles which encases the mRNA, salts and sugars for example like sodium chloride and sucrose which act as buffers and stabilizers in the vaccine solution to ensure the nanoparticles remain separate. 
Large-scale production of mRNA vaccines consists of a one- or two-step in vitro reaction followed by a purification platform with multiple steps that can include DNA digestion, precipitation, chromatography, or tangential flow filtration. Construction of mRNA vaccines requires the insertion of the encoded antigen in a DNA template from where the mRNA is transcribed in vitro. Unlike DNA, mRNA only needs to reach the cytosol, which it will be transcribed into the antigen in vivo using the cell machinery. This way, any desired sequence can be designed, produced in vitro, and delivered to any type of cell. When a specific mRNA sequence has been produced, it is then inserted to a plasmid. Plasmid can replicate itself to produce many copies. The plasmid is then put into a reactor where an enzymatic reaction triggers the synthesis of mRNA. Synthesized mRNA is then purified. Purified mRNA is then enclosed in lipid nanoparticles ready to be transferred to the vaccine solution. The mRNA vaccine solution is then stored in a temperature of negative 20 degrees Celsius to ensure the effectiveness and vaccines are maintained until it is administered to a person's body. How does the body react to vaccine? As we know, vaccines help develop immunity by imitating an infection. However, while this sort of infection nearly never produces in us, it does trigger the immune system to create the t lymphocyte antibodies. The imitation illness can sometimes induce modest symptoms like fever after receiving a vaccination. Minor symptoms are common and should be expected while the body strengthens its defense. When the imposter illness is gone, the body is left with a supply of memory t lymphocytes and also b lymphocytes that will remember how to fight the disease in the future. After immunization, the body usually takes a few weeks to create t lymphocytes and b lymphocytes. As a result, because the vaccines had no enough time to give protection, a person infected with a disease immediately before or just after immunization may develop symptoms and get disease. When individuals take an mRNA vaccine, especially COVID-19 vaccine, mRNA corresponding to the viral protein was introduced. It is usually tiny piece of a protein found on the virus outer membrane. Once inside our body, the mRNA travels to the ribosome. Based on the mRNA from the vaccine, the ribosome makes only a piece of the spike protein from the weakened and harmless virus from the vaccine. After making the pieces of the spike protein, your cell finish making a protein and they quickly break down the mRNA. mRNA from vaccines does not enter the nucleus and does not alter DNA. Next, your cell presents the pieces of spike protein on its surface as a part of a normal immune response. The immune system recognizes that the spike protein is foreign and produces specialized antibodies. Antibodies help protect the body against infection by recognizing individual virus or other pathogens attaching to them and marking the pathogens for destruction. Once produced, antibodies remain in the body, even after the body has rid itself of the pathogen so that the immune system can quickly respond is exposed again. For example, suppose a person is exposed to a virus after receiving an mRNA vaccination. In that case, antibodies can quickly recognize it attached to it and mark it for this action before it can cause serious illness. mRNA vaccines have several advantages in comparison with conventional vaccines. Firstly, mRNA-based vaccines can be rapidly developed. They can be developed within days or months based on sequencing information from a target virus. While conventional vaccines often take years and require a deep understanding of the target virus to make the vaccine effective and safe. Secondly, these mRNA vaccines can be rapidly produced due to high yields from in vitro transcription reactions. It is quicker and more reliably manufactured than traditional vaccines. But Necessary clinical trials to evaluate safety and efficiency take a longer time. mRNA production can be inexpensive and scalable as well. And thirdly, vaccine risks are low. mRNA does not contain infectious viral elements that pose risk for infection and insertional mutagenesis. For the consequences, the mRNA vaccines are not stable at high temperatures, making packaging and distribution difficult as they need to be stored in very cold temperatures. 
the road for the development of COVID-19 vaccine was different than the usual. This is due to the unprecedented pandemic which caused the testing and trials to occur parallelly for the urgent need of vaccines. Some side effects are common like fever, pain, and soreness of the arm. There are also rare cases like myocarditis and pericarditis in adolescents and young adults that have been reported. This is usually more after getting the second dose than after the first dose of either Pfizer or Moderna COVID-19 vaccines. But still, the benefits of COVID-19 vaccination outweigh the known and potential risks. The COVID-19 vaccine for the children is safe and effective. It has undergone rigorous review and now has been authorized by the FDA and recommended by the CDC for the children ages between 5 to 11 years. In clinical trials, vaccine side effects were mild and similar to those seen in adults. These side effects may affect your child's ability to do daily activities, but they should go away in a few days. Some people don't even show any side effects, and severe allergic reactions are rare. Who are anti-vaxxers? Anti-vaxxers are people who believe that vaccines are unsafe and infringe on their human rights. They typically deny the existence or validity of the science supporting their use in the general population. The anti-vaxxer movement began in the 80th century in the US with religious leaders describing them as the devil's work. One of the reasons anti-vaxxers exist is because they believe that vaccines can cause autism. This means started during the introductions of MMR vaccines in the late 1990s. Scientists do not believe that receiving the MMR vaccines affects a child's chance of developing autism. Next, they believe that vaccines can overwhelm a child's immune system. Some people fear that this process may weaken the immune system or make a child unwell. Another misconception they have is that diseases were already declining before the inventions of vaccine due to improvement in hygiene and sanitation. Scientific research does not support claims that vaccination is unsafe and scientists clearly state that vaccines strengthen rather than weaken the immune system. Vaccination is the safest way for us to develop immunity to vaccine-preventable diseases. Anti-vaccination means should not dissuade the public from getting vaccinated.